Mm. Why do we not have this in the UK? Hello everybody and welcome to you. If you've been around recently you will know that Timo Warner brought me an enormous pile of Canadian chocolate and now is the time to eat it. I know that some of you may find my clothing offensive, but the joke's on me because it's about 29 degrees outside and I'm baking because I'm wearing a hockey shirt. Timo has sent me his opinions of what he believes should be the number one Canadian chocolate bar, so let's see if I agree. I don't know why you're here, I bet you don't even eat chocolate. I'm gonna do this in order of Timo's opinions, but actually the first one, Mirage, I've already tasted it, so I'm not gonna do that one in this video. If you wanna see me trying that, look up there. His opinion on this one is, they're so much thicker and more satisfying to bite into than an aero and they taste better too and I completely agree. In fact, I think it was Astragali who said that this was more like a whisper and it is, it's really chunky, it just tastes so much better. Properly first up is Cherry Blossom which I think looks like it still has its packaging from the 50s. Timo says, you're right about the look. I'm not sure the box has changed at all since I was a kid. The candy itself can be hit or miss. When you get one that has properly liquefied, they're awesome. If the inside is still solid, they're not quite as good. Be careful, they can be messy, given just how hot it is in here. This is going to be messy. What a great start. So inside here, we have an intriguing silver package. So excited about this. I love cherries and I love this packaging. So, this is going to be one of those just cram it all in your mouth and hope it doesn't go everywhere, isn't it? If I try and bite this in half, I've got a horrible feeling I'm going to regret it. Oh, it smells amazing. It has got coconut in it, so if you don't like coconut, then I wouldn't have one of these. Mm. Has it liquefied? Oh, it has. Oh, it has. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> mm. That chocolate is so thick. It has to be to contain this. It's got a whole cherry and a sort of coconut layer. If you can see that. Mm. I haven't even got anywhere near the cherry yet. And it's good. <laughs> okay, that's part of the cherry escaping. Mm, this is so good. I haven't even got to the cherry bit yet. This is amazing. Here we go. I love it sometime later. <laughs> Why do we not have this in the UK? I got really lucky there that that bit of cherry just happened to fall onto the foil as opposed to onto my table or my shirt, although I'm sure some of you would have been very pleased if it had. Mm. That is incredible. Why on earth do we not have those in the UK? That is fantastic. I'll be honest, it doesn't even taste that much of cherries or coconut. It doesn't need to. Also, the chocolate's got like crunchy bits in it. I don't know what they are, but I love them. I love them a lot. It can only go downhill from now on. The next up is Jersey Milk, which I think is just a bar of chocolate. Timo says, this is what I think of when I hear milk chocolate, since it's what I grew up with. I've discovered that they changed the shape of the pieces, which used to be flat, but it still tastes the same as it always did used to be flat. It is in chunks, so oh, I see. So it used to be like a smooth bar across the top, perhaps. And pieces all say Jersey milk, unsurprisingly. Mm, okay. The thing is, the cherry blossom was very, very, very sweet. I have cleared my mouth out, but it's like recalibrated my brain as to what chocolate should taste like. I'm just looking to see what the percentage is, but of course if it's milk chocolate, it probably doesn't say. It's nice though. It says it contains milk chocolate. 
unsweetened chocolate. I've always been a bit baffled as to how chocolate can contain chocolate, but anyway. Also has natural flavours. May contain peanut and tree nuts. Well, tree nut chocolate, you are nice. It's just a good, solid, classic milk chocolate, that. I approve, and I also throw it all over my table. Next up is Score, which I believe to be like a dime bar. And Timo says, I'm sure you already know what this tastes like since there's lots of different bars with different names that are all exactly the same. It's a dime bar. Crisp toffee with little bits scattered throughout. I love how the chocolate separates from the inside if you bite it just right. That sounds good. It feels perhaps a little bit thicker than I'm used to with a dime bar. But dime bars are kind of wider and flatter than this. There we go. Ripply effect. Can I eat this and getting the chocolate off in exactly the right way? Mm. <laughs> yes, of course I can. The chocolate tastes a little bit sweeter than the normal milk chocolate that I've just eaten. Not sure if I can, oh. <laughs> Not sure if I can take my teeth out on camera. Mm. It's a dime bar. I haven't had a dime bar in yonks. I used to absolutely love them, love them as a kid when they first came out. They were much more expensive, if I remember rightly, than buying a Mars bar or a Snickers or a caramel or whatever. My God, do they get stuck in your teeth, but they taste great. I'd forgotten how much I enjoy this. I would say, actually, I don't know whether this is just because I haven't had one in ages, but that tastes better than a dime bar or at least better than I remember a dime bar tasting. If you've never had one, it just has toffee in the middle of it. It's thicker, it's creamier. I like it. I like it a lot. Next up, Cadbury Wunderbar, which is worryingly stuck to the inside of its packaging. I told you it was hot. Timo says, my favourite chocolate bar, peanut butter with little crisps and a layer of caramel on top great as a single bite or deconstructing it to enjoy each part. That sounds like something that's going to break my teeth, Timo. The interesting thing is that although you call this your favourite, it's not what you rate as the number one Canadian chocolate bar. So let's find out why this is your favourite first, if I can get it out of the packet. I don't know if you can see this, but it's just bending. It is so, so warm. Oh, it is. It's all stuck. The caramel's all leaked out. Blech. Oh dear. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this looks interesting though. The inside of that. It does remind me of a British bar of some sort. Now what is it? I do remember eating something like this. Is it a star bar? Star bar. Actually thinking about it, I think the colours of this packaging are the same as star bar. I could be wrong. Let's give it a go. Mmm. <laughs> it's melty in my fingers. Mmm. That's really good. It's got just the right combination between chewy and then all these sort of crispy bits. It's really buttery. The chocolate is kind of irrelevant to the centre of it. It's that mouthful that you get when you bite into it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's lovely. It's the texture more than anything that does that because the taste is just caramel and peanut. But there's just something about biting into that. Mm. But the more I eat this, the more I'm convinced it was Star Bars. I haven't had one of those in years. I don't know if you can even buy them anymore. Right, deconstructing the layers. I don't understand how you could deconstruct this. I mean, it's deconstructing so badly on my thumb that it might not need any assistance from me. I can see it sort of splitting. It is sort of splitting. It's very difficult to show you this without getting chocolate absolutely everywhere. But how am I going to deconstruct this? Do I just sort of scrape the top off it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. 
<laughs> no. Mm. There's a reason why this video is going to be in two parts. Because after eating that, I don't want anything else. Oh, that one has filled me up big time, but we must press on. Crispy Crunch is next up, and I'm a little bit worried about what he says about this because Timo says it's super sweet and sticks to your teeth. I'm not a big fan of the kind of bars that shatter when you bite them. Is this Butterfinger in disguise? Is this Canadian Butterfinger? Because I was not a fan of that particularly. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking, huh? Is there an extra bit in this? Actually, there is because there's a bit of cardboard, presumably, to keep it together when it does that and shatters all over my table. Thanks, Crispy Crunch. This does look suspiciously butterfingery on the inside. <laughs> That's how warm it is in here. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see if I can hold on to it for long enough to get a bite out of it. Mm. Mm. Compared to all the other things I've eaten, it's just weird that that's so dry. But it is Butterfinger. I would say it's perhaps slightly less peanutty than Butterfinger. I don't know why that would be. But yeah, it is super sweet and it very much gets stuck to your teeth. And I'm still not really a huge fan of that. End of this part, partly because of my teeth. Partly because I can't eat too much chocolate at once and partly because it is ridiculously warm in here I'm starting to get worried about the integrity of the chocolate is caramel milk. Now, I think that this might just be exactly like caramel in the UK. It just looks classier. Timo says, a classic chocolate bar with a great ad campaign in the 80s. Are we talking about the rabbit? Did the rabbit advertise this for you as well? Let's... Oh, let's snap of it off, which took no effort at all. I can't remember the slogan. Something, 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 Cadbury's Caramel. Was it a rabbit and a tortoise? Do you know, I can't remember. I do remember her being in the woods surrounded by butterflies and birds and things. I'll have to go off and look that up. I can't even get in this. Even the glue from the packaging is getting really sticky. So there we go. It is pretty classic. Does it smell the same? Because what I remember about caramel was the smell. Actually, no, it doesn't. Maybe it's made to a slightly different recipe. Maybe it's just because I haven't had one in forever. I used to love them. Love them. Cadbury's caramel Easter eggs were the best. Mmm. The chocolate is definitely different. I always remember caramel bars being I was going to say super sweet. This is super sweet. But in a different way, the chocolate just tastes slightly different. The caramel is exactly the same. You'd think it would be the same bar. That is not how I remember Cadbury's caramel. It's very nice, but the chocolate is closer to the sort of Jersey milk type chocolate. I do wonder whether British milk chocolate, particularly Cadbury's, is just a load of rubbish. I'm not convinced exactly how much cocoa it's got in it. Maybe Canadian chocolate bars just have a little bit more. Again, it's not on here, which is really annoying. I think if it's milk chocolate, they don't have to say what the percentage of cocoa is. But I would say that's probably a little bit higher than the UK. It's okay. I'm happy to admit, it wouldn't be my first choice these days, because now I prefer something more than just sweet. I prefer something more than just sugar, which is why I don't eat sweets very often. I'd rather that it had some sort of other taste in it, which is why I like the Mirage so much, because it tastes really strongly of vanilla and it's lovely. Hmm. God. That's teeth achingly sweet. I'm going to leave it there for now, because between the heat and the sweet, I feel like I'm going to die. So I hope that you will join me and Captain Marvel for the next part of the Canadian chocolate and candy tasting experience, where we will find out whether me and Timo can agree on what Canada's number one chocolate bar is. See you later.